Hi and welcome back. If I'm going to calculate the work efficiency, the budget efficiency, and the schedule efficiency using the data in here, and if I'm doing the same task over and over again every single week or maybe every single day, that will take a huge amount of my time, specifically when I'm dealing with a lot of data. The alternative way in here, which consumes considerably less amount of time, is the Excel macros. For example, in here, if I click on calculate the efficiencies, the efficiencies will be calculated automatically. Besides that, if I'm going to plot the charts and I click this button, the charts in here will be plotted automatically. I can format them later. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automate your tasks using macros in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. In order to create such an automated Excel file, we will use Excel macros. The macros are accessible from the Developer tab. If you don't have access to the Developer tab, right-click anywhere in here, go to Customize the ribbon. As you can see, I have my Developer tab on. If I uncheck this and click OK, the Developer tab will disappear. In order to bring it back, I'll right-click in here, go to Customize the ribbon. From here, I'll click the Developer tab and click OK. Now we'll go to Developer tab and record a macro for all the actions that we took previously. The first thing is to calculate the efficiencies for work, budget, and schedule. So we will record a macro to calculate these efficiencies. In order to record a macro, you can either click this button or click this button in here. So I'll click this one. I'll name my macro as Calculate. I can put a shortcut key for my macro and give a description in here. I will leave these to default and click OK. So the macro recording will begin. For the work efficiency in here, I'll click here, I'll write down equal sign, the number of activities completed, divided by the number of planned activities. I'll press Enter. For the next one, I'll write down equal sign, the budget planned, divided by the actual budget spent. And for the last one, I'll use equal sign, the percentage of work actually completed, divided by the percentage of work planned to be completed. I'll press Enter. I'll go to Home. I'll select these values. From here, I'll convert them to percentage. So this one is done. Next thing is to stop recording. So we have one macro recorded. For the next macro, again, I'll click this one and I'll name this macro as charts. I'll click OK. I'll select the values in here. Go to Insert. From here, I'll select a column chart. For these values, I'll go to Insert and I will insert a donut chart for these. And for the last ones, I'll select both of them and go and select a bar chart. I'll stop recording the macro. As you can see, all the charts are inserted and I can further format them right now. So in order to automate our tasks, these things should be done automatically in here. I can do it by either going to Developer, Macros, and run the Calculate Macro. As you can see, the values in here will be calculated automatically. Besides this, we can use the button method. So I'll delete this. Again, in the Developer, I'll go to Insert. From here, I'll select the first one, the button from here. I'll draw the button in here. I'll link it to the Calculate and click OK. I can rename the button and call it, for example, Calculate Efficiencies. For the next one, again, I'll go to Insert, I'll select Button, and in here, I'll draw the button. I'll link it to the Charts macro and click OK. In here, I'll rename it as Plot Charts. So in here, if I click this button, as you can see, the efficiencies will be calculated. And if I click this button, the charts will be plotted for my data. This shows the percentage, the planned percentage, and the actual percentage. In here, we have the budget. And in the last chart in here, we have the number of activities planned and the number of activities completed. So this is how you can automate your tasks using macros in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.